Well, again, I don't have any long dissertation treatise this morning, but I did want to show you this from, uh, again, a recent ar um, article in uh, Science News. And the article is entitled Positronium Result Baffles Physicists. Now, that's not the real thing I'm looking at, though. If, you, if we look further in the article, look at this little thing that they're talking about here. Uh, the positronium's energy levels could be affected by hypothetical axion-like particle. Could be affected by a hypothetical particle. That's a particle that has the potential, potential, potential to explain dark matter, an invisible type of matter thought to permeate the universe. Mm, the missing mass problem that might explain how our galaxy could hold together uh, more than 250,000 years, like uh, more like 20 billion years. Well, the dark matter thing is always out there. Uh, and even dark energy, the chair of physics at Yale said, dark energy is just code for we don't have a clue. I'm glad she admitted that. There's an honest scientist. But the dark matter thing isn't all sewed up either. They thought they'd really announce to the world they'd solved the dark matter problem. The 95% of the universe was made of stuff we couldn't detect or see when they finally did detect the neutrinos and found out they do actually have some mass. Uh, that only took care of one-fourth of the dark matter, so that means three-fourths of it still isn't taken care of. Not that they won't find it, but their penchant for finding it is to try to prove the Big Bang and their own time scale age for the universe is actually correct, specifically their time zone frame for the, uh, uh, the galaxy. The, how could it have enough gravity? There must be uh, extra matter we just can't see that's giving it enough gravity to hold together for billions of years instead of just a few hundred thousand or just a few thousand. And uh, then the dark energy was to explain if every galaxy has so much dark matter that's got so much, 10 times more gravity than we can see, then why are the galaxies flying apart from each other at an accelerated rate? Well, that's what dark energy explains. So it's kind of like those prescription drugs you see about on TV. It's supposed to solve one little problem, but then it can cause convulsions, stroke paralysis, and death, or it causes these other side effects like like, I don't know, fatal constipation, and then you've got to take some other drug to make up for it. So what a tangled web we weave when first we practice, well, to hypothesize way too much. Then you have to make a hypothesis to explain the problems with the hypothesis, to explain the problems with the next hypothesis, and, and on it goes. Off and away you go, said Nikola Tesla, when all you do is create mathematical constructs instead of real experiments. Louis Pasteur said, do not put forth anything that you cannot prove without experimentation. And all these theoretical uh, astrophysical things, well, that's just what that is, uh, hypothetical. Well, you keep thinking, and remember, dark matter matters, and you've got to make sure that they're not pulling the wool, the astrophysical wool over your eyes until they've actually got, well, some proof. They did detect the neutrinos, but these particles that may and might and hypothetically could. Keep your eyes open for those, those weasel words. God bless you, Dr. J.